What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are at, well, we're at war with the Austrians and now because we've taken lots of their cities in Central Europe, uh, the actual troops that got stationed in Northern Italy are now actually becoming quite defeatable. So we're beginning to probe the fronts and they've decided to, to advance from Turin and engage our forces amongst the hills. Got a sizable component of their army is militia as well as not very good artillery so i think this will be quite a nice uh, slaughter of austrian troops so let's take them out we do have an army to the south which we could which we will use to exploit any weakened garrisons or uh, armies in general in italy because they are running lots of troops up to the new front because we've taken Berlin, Konigsberg, Warsaw and Gdansk at the drop of a hat because they left ports unguarded. Oh my my. Austria. Honey. Oh no. What a lovely piece of terrain we get to defend. Poor, poor souls. They have to march up this precipice. And I'm, I am learning to appreciate uh, skirmish cavalry. I really am. It does definitely have its uses. Especially in such a massively cavalry heavy army like this. Drop the howitzers. They're going to do some good work today. Well, not at that range they're not. Round shot it is. Get my howitzers to drop shells on their line infantry. My field artillery are going to open up on their guns. But yeah, they've got demi cannons. They're not so great. Six pounder horse artillery. Not so great. Lancers, lancers, hussars. So let's advance the right flank and it'll give me an opportunity to rebalance my Grenadier utilization, i.e., spread them out a bit more. Advance my dragoons up with my guardia de corps. Excellent heavy cavalry there. Oh, look at that! Even misses are going to do loads of damage here because they've just decided to cluster around the guns. You men run. Get ready to canister shot the get the um, the lancers because they seem to not be aware that they are actually within artillery range. Advance up our dragoons. Oh, they they've got ready. They've, they've hopped into diamond formation. How nice of them. Just a round shot, continue the bombardment in the centre. Bring in our Guardia de Corps, bring up our light horse. Let's take these troops on our right flank and advance down the hill with our skirmish cavalry. Charge us if you dare. Go on, Guardia de Corps. Get in there, get the regiment of horse to run around the flank. How it says switch to quick climb. Engage the enemy with that shell type we all know and love. Regiment of horse, go for the general because he's gone wide. You men cease fire. My dragoons have Taking a significant toll. Lancers are coming in. These units both form square. Oh, 
all my marines. The only unit that didn't form square. Light Dragoons, push up to Skirmish, Conquistador, push up. Conquistador fire well off and try and knock out the enemy there. A regiment of horse is still chasing down their general. Push up our line. Understandably, my light dragoons are very upset. Guardia de Corps, push on to the militia. Enemy cavalry is down. Let's pull my light dragoons back. He's in these guards are really concerned about the cavalry on my left flank. And my regiment of horse gonna take safely take out their general. Here comes the quick climb, doing some good damage. Men fire it well on. That was a mistake. Enemy general has been annihilated. Pull my conquistador back. Pull my uh, pull my dragoons back. Push up my main infantry line. The general's bodyguard are going down hard and fast. push up our troops on this flank because they're starting to realize that they are now looking quite exposed. Conquistador now are ripe to charge the line. My light dragoons are ripe to continue to skirmish. Just run straight past these militia. They fire their volley. Push up our whole line. General 2. Get my grenadiers involved. Come on, light dragoons. You might be weak due to my lack of use of tactics. My dragoons are continuing to skirmish the militia. You men charge down the line infantry. I think their formation or well, their army is about to break. You men charge the militia. go. Artillery, all of it. Ceasefire. There's a unit of line infantry. I don't go for the militia. I go for the special militia. I don't go for... Don't go for bog standard militia when there's uh, better units that need killing. My marines are trying to charge the 27th. There we go. I'm sure my marines will take a make a tremendous victory happen on that flank. My infantry are going to do a real number on these militia. But the main news is this. It's all of this. That's the main news is the death of maybe not put my light dragoons in there there we go just some real good damage done to a lot of enemy units I mean this militia unit fair play to them they're holding out don't think it's going to be what they hoped. 
Okay, you've knocked out your unit, so you can go chase after some other unit. I think my Dragoons, one of the uh, infantry units they were trying to take out, kept uh, running through this combat. So I'll let my Light Dragoons continue to fight it, because why the hell not? Yeah, my line infantry is winning, but they're still they're still fighting to their credit, as worthless as it may be. Let's put this on the next um, level of time compression. Okay, Conquistador hit the unit of line. Let's just get them out of here. Just take him out. General's bodyguard should go charge that unit of militia while these men walk back. Damn right, we're going to continue. This is the Austrian Empire. Ah, go on. You guys both take out this regiment of foot. You're still working on these engineers, but they've probably spread out. Yeah, they have spread out quite a lot. General's bodyguard. Still doing good. I'm curious to see what the garrison of Genoa looks like. Because we could have just destroyed the only real force in Western Italy. We could. Very much depends on what else the Austrians have been up to, if anything. But this is it's possible. It's possible we might have just uh, smashed a hole through their western flank. There's three guys. Two of them are here. Where's the other one? He's up here. Ah, it was a lure! <laughs> he got away. But still, that was quite a uh, devastating loss for the Austrian Empire there. That's 2,800 men! Okay, Milan's garrison, and there is a garrison, there is a force near Turin. But we really need to quite aggressively reinforce Gdansk and Konigsberg. We need to start generating or recruiting troops in those areas to garrison them and protect them from a potential Russian attack and allow our main armies to drive west. That's what we need. The concern, well, it's not. Well, the, the concern is that, uh, well, fundamentally, we need to make good progress in the West and in the Balkans, as the bulk of the Austrian forces have been advancing away, and part of that is going to be opening up the Westphalian front. So we're sieging Strasbourg. Belgrade is ripe to be taken next turn, but I need, I want to take out those regions pretty quickly. I mean, yeah, you can see the strength we're, we're amassing in the Balkans. If we take out Westphalia, then the armies that are defending... The, the, arm, the Westphalian armies that are defending Hungary will be... They will disperse. And then we can push up and either threaten Venice or Vienna. So right now, the Austrian Empire that was looking incredibly ford formidable a few episodes ago is now actually looking incredibly consumable be yeah, able to fortify Königsberg, Warsaw get walls built get armies recruited to hold the cities and they will be garrison armies they will be infantry and howitzers <laughs> the garrisonist took guys is going to sally out and attack Diogo Coronado well more full them that's a lot of pretty pretty uh, chaffy infantry which are elite force that's been fighting for many, many, many episodes now can handily chew up and knock back. That's pretty good. But it means we can, well, hopefully, if we really obliterate their garrison now, it will make the capture of it in the next episode easier. It will put Munich under threat. And it will be Württemberg 50% on the road to being captured, which is lovely. 
Because that'll be one of their allies, one of the Germanic allies, obliterated. Okay, let's form, form a defensive line. Let them come to us. We want to deploy back as well, because they have um, mortars, so why make it easy for them? Let's split up our troops, put the Irish Brigade here. Yeah, I'm not interested in doing their job for them. I might put my Walloon Guard plus a unit of infantry on the right flank. I'll have to sort out that deployment afterwards. Let's put most, the rest of our line infantry on the left. And that does give us a chance to have some reserves. I've already got that up, haven't I? Got completely lost about where I was deploying my guys. Very well, my Irish Brigade is going to be my right flank. I mean, I know there's a, a fence there, but I never really like occupying the fences. Very well, my Regimento de Sevilla will be my reserves. This artillery will deploy up on the high ground here. Grenadiers deploying the woods to hold the left flank. Okay, so we've got pikes on the left. A regiment of the Sevilla are our reserves. Plus another unit of line. And we have only got weak cavalry as well. This will not do. So our pikes are there. Our Swiss pikes are going to be anywhere. First enemies on the horizon, but I'm going to speed up time because what normally happens is there's a period of organisation and the AI doesn't really do much. So let's get our guns up on the hill here to just attack the wall. So let's get them all to do it. Just make a hole in their wall. Provincial Cav. Provincial Cavalry versus Provincial Cavalry. Don't like that. Line Infantry, on the other hand. But yeah, it looks like what's going to happen is they're just going to redeploy into a great big line that stretches across the entire fort, which you can understand, but it's still a bit like, ugh, why bother? Hey, the mortars have abandoned their guns. Good. You can tell they don't really want to attack because they're running and stopping, running, stopping, running, stopping. But at the very least, we will have knocked down a wall, so should we want to charge and attack the city, we can. We've got a way in. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when they actually begin to attack rather than redeploy. So, see you in a second. Didn't take me long to think... Why the hell am I just sat here? Their infantry's rubbish. Let's have at it. Let's go get them. So these four infantry secure this flank outside the town here. My Swiss pikes can run up and back them up alongside a provincial cavalry unit. We're going to send some men in towards the fort. Where's our other backup infantry unit? So I did deploy a regiment of Sevilla this Sevilla to fortify my right flank. But now we can have more! I think they are responding to this. So that routing unit is their artillery team. So these units, your job is going to be to uh, take the city. Take the city and uh, turn their guns against the troops outside the fort. Of 
I mean, I don't think they, they completely appreciate what's about to happen. Yeah, these men are going to attack the fort. I'm going to send one unit just to run up and start capturing... Well, might even send... Well, three units going in, so... A regiment of line infantry is going to start sparring with their troops inside the city. And one unit's going to go up this um, ramp and secure this gatehouse. Another one's going to secure this gatehouse. There we go. They've first inclinations that something's up. The 15th have advanced. And they are going to be repulsed. I mean, my pikes are right here if you want to get up to mischief with cavalry. The first regiment of foot. This elite unit that's experienced level four. It's going to start to chase off enemy mercenaries. So let's make sure we've got this gun team providing support. pivot. These men have got cavalry advancing through this formation here. You men form square. Looks like they are just going to run past each other. Oh, this provincial cavalry wants to charge my Walloon line infantry. Big mistake there. So you men attack the regiment of foot, you men secure that gatehouse, the Walloon line secure this gatehouse and then they will take position on the walls to bring down gunnery against their targets in the field. The 13th regiment should hopefully scythe through these men fairly well because they don't even they don't even have bayonets. <laughs> yeah, the provincial cavalry have routed. They broken they broke the square though, so they did pretty good. General's bodyguard get over here. Pursue the enemy. So they're firing into the back of their the combat, which means it should they should suffer. These men are running really in a really screwed up way. The cavalry's coming back. Yeah, let them do them. Okay, we're taking the gatehouse. You men get on the get on the cannons. Same with you men, get on the cannons. much move these pikes to go into the city as well because fundamentally oh no actually there's a cavalry action on the flank we want to deal with so let's make sure our guns are doing reasonable work on the flanks so let's straighten out our line let's push our pikes up the flank Oh, my grenadiers are on, the infantry is on fire well off. No wonder they're not doing as much damage as I'd like. It's got a cavalry over on the flank to take them out. You men. Okay, you men push onto the firelock arm citizenry. Okay, these men are going to take positions on the walls and use their own cannons against them. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, men. We're defending the fort. Wait a minute. Those aren't those aren't Württemberg forces. <laughs> yep, that's an, they, they've routed. A significant break actually on that flank there. Bring our cavalry in. Okay, the provincial cavalry make them run past the combat to fire at 
the enemy. You men form up like so. Looks like the enemy are in total retreat, which is delicious. So the 13th Regiment of Rudy, they've done some good work. They cleared out the enemy in the center. And now they're going to clear out the last troops in the center. This regiment of line infantry probably is now a bit surplus to requirements here. Again, our other our general's unit to start to chase down the enemy. Let's get some of our pikemen to start to chase down this militia unit because they are they're going to fall. Well, they've only lost about fifty odd men, so it's entirely possible that they recover. You may as well just make them kill the units rather than try and do damage to all of them because most of these units are just... They're done. European infantry mercenaries. Oh, I guess the wrong unit would come back. I thought the militia would come back, but actually it was this unit of line infantry that came back. But let's just slaughter the troops that remain. Pikemen go after that unit of garrison line. Some good experience for the general though. Hello! Garrison militia unit. So you men faced on that militia, you men push up here. I mean, the pikemen will cut these garrison line units apart. But I think that militia unit is going to be fairly resolute and decide it doesn't want to leave. Tercio pikemen are now getting in. Yep, unit of garrison line infantry. And you know what, buddy? It doesn't care. These men are pikey boys. With armour plate. They've got the cure for what ails you. That's a great big pointy stick up the backside. Keep attacking because they're running through our lines. All our artillery cease fire. Oh, obviously loads of men have come back now. So let's bring our cavalry back to hit that infantry unit, you men form a new line, so our cavalry we can collectively knock out the 26th. There's one last guy, take him out! Take the 26th out, then I can run my cavalry away. And you guys can chase down the 37th. Charge my militia into the flank of that unit over there. I mean, everyone else is... Yeah, done for. It's only... These two units that remain. But one would hope, after... Significant musket fire, they would decide sticking around is not in their best interest. That gun team can hit the 38th. Could even get men up on the walls again to try and fire their guns at them, but that's probably not entirely worthwhile. But let's slaughter some garrison troops. There's another unit that's come back. There's two men there, there's one there and one down here. 
they've fallen, so go chase down the 17th, although it looks like they've split up quite effectively. My general can chase the bodyguard unit there. These men are falling back, but they're not routing. Cease fire with the artillery. Okay, let's speed up time now. Speed up time properly, because it's just getting silly now. Yeah, there we go. You men all just mass charge the militia. I mean, if the first weren't having any of it, they just ran away. There goes the sixth. Yeah, let's end it there, because that was starting to drag a little bit because of how the AI was behaving. Could have potentially got a few more kills. Um, but I think the garrison is significantly damaged. I'm going to fight this manually so I don't damage the army behind because they're in perfect shape and it's only 28 light cavalry. <laughs> so let's uh, take care of that small force. So this is the part of the thing with Darth Maul is that they shouldn't, it shouldn't um, apply damage to every army of yours that's in the action. It might make sense during bigger battles, but in little ones like this, why? I mean, unless we're marching towards him backwards, I don't see how he can actually do any sort of real damage. It's 28 light cavalry. Like, I'm going to deploy behind the cavalry stakes and... I mean, eh. Just, just deploy. <laughs> Double time! Like, well, you can try. <laughs> Swiss pikemen have something to say to you. <laughs> there they go. The heroic victory. <laughs> the slaughter of one poor cavalry unit. Didn't lose any men. Perfect. See, Williamsburg is ours. So as is tradition in this campaign, what I'm going to have is a whole lot of things to spend money on, but I have to be really selective. So. Berlin. Fortify. Konigsberg. Build a drill school. And churn out men. Poland. Fortify. Let's repair the cannon foundry here. So Poland, fortify, build a good barracks. Recruit a bunch of men. Gdansk is about to fortify. Build the governor's residence. Uh, ooh, put some pikes. Stockholm, build... Actually, I might build some... Build a unit of Western European mercenaries. Do a bit of economy investing because we do need to make sure we don't run into sustainment problems. Let's make sure that Williamsburg is maybe you're reinforced and we repaired the House of Representatives. Okay, let's take. Oh yeah, we made peace with the uh, Persians. That's why their army disappeared. <laughs> Get these chaps up to Boston. I mean, there's not much point going through the things that have been built. We've got so much stuff we need to spend money on. We need to spend money everywhere. Um, but big ones are reinforce Marcio Campos. Reinforce Aaron Mazdieu. Reinforce Diego Coronado. His howitzers are continuing to advance. You're going to go join Mr. Delgado. The artillery can continue to push up. We can repair the seminary. France is getting better roads. Cologne is reinforcing. The Amsterdam is ready to advance, but I would like both of these to attack simultaneously, so I'm going to wait. You're in a good position to exploit any number of directions. Felix 
Well, first of all, see if you can demand the surrender of the garrison. Nope. Okay, wait for the artillery. So I, want, I need to lose a couple of infantry units and replace them with howitzers. Felix Galas, let's push and take. So, who are you? Lots of marines. Oh, that must be these chaps up in Milan. It is. Okay, let's try run around this side of this of the fort and siege them. Let's push this army up to reinforce. So this heavy horse team can go back to Paris. Okay, let's not go mad with spending money. So we've got a another full army here who is ready to deploy to maybe to Genoa because Mr. Capitil Capitillo can advance to Cartagena embark Then with the brig, sail, land into Porto Maurizio. Disembark. I'm probably going to want to send this ship back to Cartagena. So now you are ready. Well, you can actually. Okay, so I'm going to attack the army outside of the fort to draw the garrison into the fight before Genoa is even... Ah, can't quite reach. Next turn. But at least we've... Well, actually, if you're securing there, you can advance up like so. And go put Milan under siege. So then that's... The western side. The western part of northern Italy. Secure. Your Tito Garden ass. You're replenishing. We don't want to fight these guys yet. You're in a great position on your bridge. You're going to stay where you are. Because once I've got these... Well, when I've beaten this army, I want to see where he goes. Because if I attack with this army this direction, he could fall back like so. Which would be quite risky. Well, fairly risky. Raimundo de Cajuna. Um, Let's recruit... Whoa, hold on. No, 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 no. Let's not go mad. Let's not go mad. Eluterio Roig. You push, and I'm probably going to attack that in a second. I just want to take Mr. Mazdur back to Serbia. God, we've got so much territory to spend money on. But yeah, we're going to take Sarajevo. Because right now, Württemberg has quite a large number of enemy units near Hungary. So if we can attack Sarajevo, next turn bring the Howitzers up and attack Stuttgart, that will wipe out um, Württemberg. We probably, oh yeah, we want to reinforce, let's repair Cologne. We want to reinforce this army here, attack with both these forces towards Hanover simultaneously. Although, to be honest, you are in a great position to do a cheeky attack and take our Hanover. Um, but no, let's not let's not do that. We'll not do that yet, anyway. Let's focus on taking out Sarajevo. Because we've got howitzers, we've got a good amount of artillery, we've got a reasonable army to attack, and they've got mostly weak cavalry. So let's attack the city of Sarajevo. Retake the territory we gave to the Westphalians in the spirit of friendship. But then they decided to attack us. Without provocation. That's the key thing. But yeah, next turn, the their kingdom will be dissolved once the howitzers are in position to rain fire onto Stuttgart. We could potentially attack it now, but I'm not going to take the risk. I want my army to be in fairly good shape when we push on... Well, when we take the city, because otherwise I'm going to lose... Otherwise I'm going to have a pretty weak army facing off on the Austrian front line. Ooh. 
Newman can all hide in the trees here and spring and attack this rear corner. Split the cavalry up. Swiss line are also going to go around the flank. There we go. So my howitzers. My prediction is a massive block of cavalry in the centre. So let's... Bing, 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 bing. Quick climb, please. <laughs> when the AI has nowhere to deploy the units, the centre is where they always go. It's one shell. Where's all the rest? Oh, look at that. We're going to destroy their cavalry force in the centre of the city before they can even do anything. I mean, they're, they're engaging our, our, our um, cavalry with their guns, and that makes a lot of sense. But you know what also makes sense? Quick liming the cavalry. Especially when it's so densely packed together like this. Speed up time just to watch another. They are engaging our howitzers with gunfire. Yeah, I thought I saw gun gunners moving. Oh my god. It's just I know it's not I know it's not fair, but it's how can I let them get away with it? <laughs> it's just such an efficient way to kill the enemy. But let's put it on increased speed, because we've got, now got these gun teams are going to be slowly hacking their way through the Württemberg defences. Soon, the tr I mean, these troops in the centre will be destroyed. I mean, they're actually doing a reasonable amount of damage to our howitzer teams. It's part of the dangers about deploying within range of their the fort's walls but to be honest I think for this amount of damage it's definitely worth doing because there goes another load of, ca of um, cavalry and the best bit is once they've been damaged they all just huddle up in the centre again well they lost a bunch of troops when this section of the wall collapsed but once we've made one breach then I'll attack with my assault divisions Once the cavalry is knocked out, the general's bodyguards done quite well to survive this long. Oh, they lost a huge chunk of men from the wall collapsing. Looks like they might actually get away with a few lucky shots of quick climb there. So my artillery engage the fort. The men here advance. Let's retarget. The quick climb because we know that we're going to see cavalry charging the breaches. Let's make this front, make our front line run. But you can see if they had mortars now, the amount of damage they'd do because these guys are all just so clustered together. Okay, let's take. Let's start to split these guys out. You men secure the gatehouse or get ready to block the gatehouse. You men assault here. You men assault here. You men assault the gate and the Swiss line run up to secure that position itself. So you men. Yeah, attack the corner. Just get more men up on the wall. To be honest, actually, all my all my artillery might switch to round shot and engage that section of the wall because we might be able to knock it down, kill a whole bunch of their troops, and trap a few units. Yet yeah, the 10th Regiment of Militia, 
You do look they look pretty good for militia. Turning to face the new enemy. Slamming the shot home. Oh, they've they've relocated. That's a bad idea. It's giving my men time to scale the wall. Here comes the cavalry. Such as it is. This is why I've got men deployed in the centre to fight you. Oh, they're charging out the front gate. Brave, but foolish. 17th Regiment are down. 4th Regiment are down. The 12th Regiment are down. The Swiss line can just attack the provincial... I mean, they're provincial cavalry and Swiss line are... Well, they're just better across the board from regular infantry except for the um, defense characteristic all these units are just attacking the attacking this one poor regiment of, <laughs> of um, militia To be honest, I'll just make you guys capture the gate. Get in here and attack the general's bodyguard, Swiss line. <laughs> yeah, they're aware that something's going on. Poor, poor souls. My Swiss line are going to have a field day. They finally realised what's up with my dastardly plan. I don't want to push through the front because that's a recipe to lose loads of men, especially when we're actually being fairly resilient. So you men charge the general's bodyguard. charge this flank although they have now left this one unprotected so let's stop my fusiliers from firing and charge my cavalry in see when my swiss line get in they're just gonna sit here firing volleys because that's one thing they can definitely do really well the general's the last man alive it is General's bodyguard. Go on, 103rd. I know you're upset. Ah, they're actually going to stop the uh, the tick. Fair enough. Well, they really makes much difference. We're just swarming in everywhere. You men charge in against the 18th. Curiosier are going to eat this garrison line infantry unit for breakfast. We can start to pull units off the wall here. Now you guys get out of the square and attack the Philoc Arm citizenry. They're only Philoc Arm citizenry. Just get the cavalry in. Doesn't really matter what entrance they come in from. Yeah, these chaps, I mean, they are mercenaries and they don't have bayonets, so that's not good for them. 
There you go, we've pushed the firelock arm citizenry away from the central section. They will fall. You men charge nowhere. Get into the centre. You men get off the wall as well. I would I would get them to charge this section of the gate here, but we're actually doing really well. Yeah, our men are storming in through the breach. Here's the Hungarian militia. They've got pretty good coats, and you can definitely tell they're militia because they're the same unit. They've got there's a bit of mixture in the uniform styles. It's pretty nice. Here you go, as the Spanish storm in. Yeah, no. You're done for, fellas. We're on all our actions. So imagine that, if you're this guy, who do you fight? Do you fight the Swiss in the centre, the cavalry on the flank, the men coming through the breach, or the men coming from behind you? There might, might, there must be my lances. bunch of cavalry fighting the garrison in the centre. You men, kill that last guy, the, the last militiaman who opposes us. We tried to shoot at him, that didn't work. Got him. And they've broken, mostly. No, don't attack them with guns. But there we go city is ours and we haven't had to spend a single fusilier life to take it well we lost a few but we didn't have to uh, assault the walls with them so that's something at least so now this army can replenish and we can repair Sarajevo yeah our agents still in here making sure that they believe in the word of God See, I've, so what's happened is what always happens when I try and create like uh, reinforcement armies is that I just build them up so much that it's like, yeah, just use them as a garrison. Just fight with them. Um, so I could attack... I could attack that unit there, but I'm tempted to see if they push if they try and counter what I've just done. Let's try and build a light galley to occupy the port. No, let's not build anything yet. That would be silly. What else? What do I do? It's obviously you. Berlin is... or Berlin, you could get some infantry to help out because uh, if you're going to get attacked, you're going to get attacked by a whole bunch of them. Everyone else is recruiting as much as they can. You've all landed uh, in the Americas. So you're still at full strength. You can push on towards Charleston. And then can you leave Williamsburg? You can. You can advance to the west. And you need two units of infantry. Let's get American infantry mercenary unit and let's get a Spanish free company of Catalonia skirmishes let's get them in so Mr. Rodriguez you've secured Detroit and you can leave the, f the settlement while taxing it advance on to upper Louisiana your road network is being upgraded okay I think the name of the game here is to not get greedy with building more and more and more troops so I should probably just bump up a couple of farms as for my up for upgrades spend whatever little cash we have left on reinforcing you because then you can make ready to sail to Nassau retake the territory we need to be we need to repair these ports as well um, but soon the Pueblo Nations have actually expanded for once and gone for Santa Fe. Huh. 
Yeah, we're marching on to Charleston with Gordon, <laughs> Gordon Washington. Where's George Washington? We've got George Washington at home. At home, Gordon Washington. <laughs> oh, all right, I got a kick out of that. Um, okay. So you men sit inside Madrid because you're going to be acting as the the core for a new army once we have time to build it. But let's. I mean, do I? Well, no, I need the militia here really for now because the resistance resistance to occupation in Sweden is still quite high. Magdeburg, knock it down. But in general, we don't have any immediate technologies to worry about. Can't look at our construction. So in terms of recruitment, garrison port garrison sections recruited troops in Alsace Lorraine to bolster this army here. Okay, let's hit enter. And let's have a look at what we can do. It's unsurprising that Austria is kind of scrabbling to deal with the threats from all of the directions they're currently facing, but I think we've got quite a decent force to to um, withstand them. I mean, they might take Gdansk, because Gdansk is currently ungarrisoned. And if they do, they do. The main thing is we'll have taken Warsaw, Königsberg and Berlin, because that's what will cause them the real problems. Yeah, they're marching to support their Westphalian allies to the west, but I don't think it's going to help them. They're surrounding Berlin and raiding her territories again. That's fine. I mean, to be honest, I've, I've got... I've, I, I need to spend in Baghdad as well to fortify that against the Persians. The Turks are warring with the Russians, but again, that's good because it gives them someone to focus on that's not me. Especially as my front line with Russia is now getting quite significantly big. Yeah. Russia... Oh, the Russians pushed the Ottomans away. Huh. Coming in to try and steal our technologies. I do not think it's going to uh, make the difference. Really, but we'll see what happens. So the Western European mercenaries I'm going to be recruiting in Stockholm will be marching to Gdansk to fortify the garrison there. New Spain taking out the Persians, doing what I cannot. Oh, they've gone and raided the port of uh, Nassau, owned by Louisiana, which is nice. Okay, Württemberg's marched troops away from their own their capital that's currently being sieged. Hmm. Suspicious move there, Württemberg. Yep. Plenty of raids. But raids are okay. So let's get two fusiliers and two engineers to join that force there. Yeah, they're going to take Gdansk unless we march these men plus the mercenaries to stop them, which is an option. I'm not quite sure what your problem is. Get into the city. Konigsberg. Keep upgrading you men march. How likely are we do we do we think Russia is to attack us? Potentially highly likely, I think. But again, we're recruiting lots of troops, so we cannot neglect the economy. Every turn we dump a good chunk of our 
income on our economy than here at Baghdad. Yeah, we are fortifying it, which is good. We want to build up these buildings to be economy buildings and grow the church school. Me yield iron mine, poor weaver's cottage. To be honest, there's so much stuff we can spend our money on. It's silly. You men are replenishing well. Ooh, you can push up and secure the bridge. You men can secure the flank. Okay, so Christian Morales, you men march to north of Belgrade, and we can use the bulk of Mr. Mazdur's force to provide troops. Because you must remember. Mr. Mazda, his job is to fill in the gaps. So two guns, two howitzers, you can take another unit of field artillery and advance. Let's recruit some reinforcements here in Belgrade. Okay, we've got the port upgrade here. Let's make sure to boost Naples, because we know Naples can be incredibly profitable. Ooh, we've got a gentleman in Rome, so let's march him over to Salamanca. It'll take him a few turns to get here. Okay, let's go for Royal Academy in our home territory. New town emerges in West Prussia. That's going to get torn to bits. There's no point doing anything there. Upgrading the conservatoriums are quite a cheap upgrade to get in these territories. They get a you get a flat happiness bonus, and you also get a bonus to town wealth growth. So what's not to like there? Okay, Brussels. We need better roads. Upgrade the water power cloth mill. And that's probably going to be as much of the replenishments we do. You are going to lose. Well, I say lose. Well, let's combine our. Oh, I think there's any. Okay, right. Um, let's take two regiments of line infantry. Actually, let's take. The weakest units that aren't our cool infantry out, which is you two. Swap the howitzers out. You're pushing up to support Mr. Delgado. To be honest, that's an incredibly tempting proposal to just run up, take Hanover, and destroy all these armies. Then that means these armies. Well, what I'll do actually. Can you leave the Netherlands? You can. Push right up. Right up into their up into their grill. Then you will attack. Then you will attack Hanover. So let's do that first. Because if you take Hanover. Oh, they do come in as reinforcements. We might have to do a bit of a sneaky quick attack, but we can definitely do that with the forces we have at our disposal. It's not but it's not all of these armies, it's To be honest, it's neither of them. Well, it might be these little ones, but it's not the full stack here. But yeah, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for a prime opportunity to destroy to destroy Westphalia and smash open the Austrians' west flank. Cheers, everyone.